In the Trenches with Ryan Roxy. Hello, folks. Roxy here, and welcome to a special edition of In the Trenches we are calling the Gearhead Series. In this series, we're going to take a look at new musical gear that's out there that I, and most probably you, have little or no idea how to easily get set up and running. And because of that fact, we will bring in a specialist. And when I say specialist, not someone that's going to break down every single feature in spec, even though they probably could. No, we just want someone that's going to get us up and running quickly so we can spend more time rocking and rolling and less time getting lost in owner's manuals and YouTube rabbit holes. Let's start off with Headrush's newest pedal, the MX-5. So most of you associate me as an old school analog amp type of guy, which you're right, from my history with Marshall and now currently Hughes and Kentner. But today I wanted to invite Brian, a product manager for Headrush, to talk us through the setup of three go-to guitar tones that we can easily dial up with the MX-5 existing presets. Once we've got those three presets together, Brian will show us how to put them in a set list so that they are always easily accessible and always ready to go when we turn on the unit. I figured I could use three different Alice Cooper songs that we have in our own set list to use as examples. The three go-to tones that I'm talking about are, one, a classic rock tone, something would sound great for a song like School's Out. Two, an 80s rock guitar hero type of tone, something where I'd use in a classic like Poison. And three, an industrial tone or heavy drop tuning type of sound, which I could use for the Alice Cooper song Brutal Planet, for example. So let's dive into it with the MX-5 Whisperer himself. Would you please welcome Head Rush's Brian Dabbitt. Hello, Brian. Hello, hello. It's great to be here. Thank you for having me, Ryan. What's happening, man? Dude, I, I, it's I want to get into this MX5. You got to tell me. I'm basically like MX5 for dummies. And yes. and and basically everybody that doesn't have a voice, I am your voice of people that hate manuals and want to be talked through this. And I want these three yeah. go-to tones. And you can get me there. You say you can, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, first thing we should do is probably bring up the unit. Let's have uh, Vic bring up that. There you go. Oh, there she is. <laughs> so what do you do over at head rush oh man i wear a couple different hats um mostly marketing you know social media i work with the artists and um, people like you you know there you go awesome sounds like videos. you get to play a lot of guitar as well i can see them I in love the background. It. yeah absolutely love my <laughs> job man i'm very fortunate well below us both is a basically factory open it's just out of the box Everything factory reset. This is what this is sort of what would happen if you just turn the unit on. And I want to get to those three tones. And the first tone I was talking about was a classic rock tone, something that I could maybe use for uh, a song like "Schools Out." Because right now, uh, is when you plug it in, you know, that's my tone. Pretty basically yeah. flat, clean, nothing fancy, nothing special. So we yeah. want to get that classic rock tone. How can we go about doing that? And for schools out, right? Classic for Alice Cooper out. song. Perfect, sure. perfect. Do, 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 do. I have an idea here for you. So what we're going to do, like you said, you just want to use a preset in here. So I think in here, the perfect start would be a preset called Generation Me. So let All me right. show you how to get to that. Super easy. So I'm um, looking down at the MX-5 here. First, we just want to make sure we're just going to be searching through all the rigs. So if all you right. just tap on the three lines at the top left. You're going to see it. all rigs at the top. It's already highlighted. So that means we're going to be searching through every preset that um that MX-5 has available. So we okay. can just back right out of there. Cool. Got and it. now there's a little uh, magnifying glass at the top there, our search tool. So let's tap on that. Got it. Great. And start typing in G-E-N. And boom, right there at the top, number 36, Generation Me. I see. Great. So Generation Me pops up. Got it. Yeah. Now what? Now what's the next thing I should do? Because these are all, I should say, these are all just factory presets that we can get these tones with minor adjustments. So yeah. How yeah. Would, what minor adjustments would I make? Man, small tweaks to this one. I think what we should do is switch out the cab. So all yeah. you need to do is just double tap on the, the cab icon that's in your rig there. Great. Right. And um, we're going to change uh, the cab type. So we're going to tap on that, and we're going to choose uh, that 212B30. Okay, where would that be? There it is. 
Got it. And, and it looks like it's already it on a 57. Yeah, you know, if you wanted a little bit more of a vintage vibe, we could switch it to that 409. But, you know, 57 does it all. No, I, I like I like that 57 sound. Let's, let's keep with that. Perfect. Right. Cool. Let's back right out to your rig. Okay. And um, let's do a teeny little tweak to the reverb there. So let's right. double tap on the reverb. And where it says model there, tap on that. And we're going to scroll to the top. And we're going to choose uh, garage. Got it. And, um, you know, everything there should be cool. You know, we'll wait till we're almost done to maybe we tweak the mix a little bit, but I think it's probably in a good spot. And, okay. you know, at the very beginning of the chain now, you know, we're going to add an overdrive to give it a little bit of oomph to it. So right, let's to give it that the... little classic rock edge. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. So let's put it right at the very beginning of our chain. Tap on distortion. Okay. And we're going to choose that green JRC there. And let's go full drive. You know, fully. It's head rush. Let's go all the way. <laughs> all righty. Hey, and hey, give it give it a whirl, man. Okay. <laughs> as classic rock as it comes yeah yeah, man. Right back to the boom there we go <laughs> but i wonder if it would work for other riffs like maybe a uh, nice guy or something like that awesome. perfect oh. it's that classic rock 70s uh tone that i love that's awesome. great awesome so, boom. What, what was that like three quick little changes there you go so how can we save this to our own preset now? Oh, even easier. So at the very right. top, you see where it says save? Yeah. Boom. Tap on that. And then okay. save new rig. And I'm going to call can... this yeah R1. How about that? Because oh, that's our first tone, R1. Ryan's first MX-5 preset. I love it. <laughs> What do we we got that in about what three minutes, if that? Yeah, that was pretty good for a classic rock. So now I have this tone; it's saved. That's that's that sound. Great. Let's move on to tone number two, uh, '80s rock guitar hero type of tone. Something I could use for perhaps poison. I love this test. Here we go. All right, <laughs> I, I I know where we can start. I know where we can start. So same thing, we're going to go to that that search tool, that little magnifying glass at the top. Got it. And we're going to go to preset called Fusion Solo. So just type in F-U. I see it right there. Yep, number 140. All right. There we go. All right, what do we want to do to mix this up a little bit? So we're going to change up that cab, right? So let's double okay. tap on that cab. And let's change that to a 412 Classic 30. 412. I just scroll down here. 412, 412 Classic 31. Okay. Yeah. Would... But let's do a little tweak in here. Let's change uh, that microphone, though. Okay. So let's change that to a 57, the workhorse. Yeah. Yeah. You know? 57. How many records have been made with 57? Yeah, Pretty man. much <laughs> all the good ones. Yeah, All the right. good ones. So here we go. I uh, got a 57 on it, and that's the minor tweaks that I made for that. Yeah, so, let's keep that mic off access, and we can back right out. Okay. And with this, let's uh, let's turn off the, the reverb on there. Okay. And, you know, maybe the tape echo. Uh, it's really all the taste. Maybe you like the tape uh, echo I want, on there. I want some echo in there. I want some 80s right. echo. So am I ready to try it? I think so. You like that 80s chorus? Let's see what happens. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely done. Big All right, ending. so I have there my 80s go, yeah. tone. So <laughs> now let's save that to R2. Two, for instance. done. Yeah, just hit the save button again. 
and then save new rig. And then R, R2, R2, D2. There's R2 saved. So there you go. I got the R2 saved. I got the classic uh, 80s rock guitar hero type of tone. Yeah, all I need, <laughs> all I need now is that third tone, which is more of an industrial tone or heavy drop tuning type of sound, something I could use with um, like Brutal Planet, for instance, oh, yeah. in our set list. Yeah. So the, right? a little heavier, right? Getting in a little there. heavier. I'm, I'm going to actually uh, get another guitar here that's cool. uh, sort of pre detuned. So give While me you one do that, second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my HR gears rolling here. Think about it. One. Yeah. yeah. Think yeah. about this here tone. We go. <laughs> How can we get Ryan to the heavy for Brutal Planet? I. I got an idea already. I love it. Awesome. All right. So I have my drop D guitar ready to go. <laughs> and Brian, let's try this third tone, this industrial tone. Mm. How can I get that one? Okay. All right. We're, so we're going heavy and I had a little time to, to gear it up in my head while you're switching guitars. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go to the search tool. Okay. And we're going to look for this preset called Sandman. So just type in S-A, right there, number eight. Got it. Awesome. Any tweaks? And I think, dude, the smallest tweak in the world. I think we just need to turn off the reverb. Okay. I've done that. Am I ready to go? Give Am me I ready to try a little Brutal Planet? Perfect. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I'm on yeah. stage with it now. There we cool. go. That's what we want. So that's my third uh, tone. Let me uh, save that as R3. So Boom. You know how to do it now. I don't need to walk you Let, let me see if I can do it on my own now. Save. <laughs> save new rig. All right. Dude, people, if I can do this, you can do it. Because you know me. I'm old school analog guy with knobs, and now I'm actually typing my name three times. R3. There's our three. Ooh. Awesome. So now I want those three tones. Mm -hmm. I want them in sort of a set list, if you will, so that ah. every time I turn every time I turn on the unit, it'll go, I'll have my choice of R1, R2, or R3. So guide yeah. me there. Uh, oh, easy. Because you said the magic word there, set list. Because all of our headers products, our modelers, have a set list mode. So um, let's make all that. Right. So tap on the three lines in the top left of the screen. Got that? No, that's the dots. Do the lines oh, at the shit. left. Three lines. Yep. All right. Dots and lines. I got mixed up here. Okay. So what do and I do there? At the very top right, hit new. Okay. Great. So what we're going to do is we're going to search for R1, R2, and R3. So at that search tool, yep, hit that. Hit R, uh, type in R1. Yep. There's just tap R1. on that rig. There you got go. Got it. So right. do the same thing. Uh, search for R2. Okay. I'll just tap on the search tool for that. Sorry. Um, search tool. R2. Yep. Got it. There. I just added it like you probably were going to ask me to do. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then this hit the, there you go. Search tool again. Yeah, or the keyboard's right there, so you can just like um just type it in, but this is easy too. Okay. Just a couple of taps. R three. There's R three. Excellent. I see R one, R two, R three. So then I just hit save at the top. Save. And then save yep, new save. set list. Boom. Now I name it. I'll save my three go to tones. All right. Three.
Man, this is if it's done in real time, it's going to take forever for me to type. <laughs> <laughs> but three go to tones save. Yep. So and there we happens. are. So let me show you where it's saved. So just hit the okay. the back arrow button. Got it. And so if you just want to find that set list, all you have to do is tap on those three lines again at the top left. Got it. And right there, yeah, you should be in alphabetical right order. At the, at the top, yeah. Oh, three so go just two tap tones. on that. And there you go. Very nice, man. Yep. All right. So, so now just like it says, like previous rig or next rig, all you have to do is just hit next rig and it'll go right to that next rig that you made. One, two. Or three. I got it. Okay. So is there a way that I can actually have it so that those bottom three show rig one, rig two, or rig three? Yes, you can. Absolutely. So what were you going to do? To enter the, <laughs> to enter the pedal modes, hold down the far left foot switch. Okay. That's the right. Do the left. Oh. <laughs> 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 I just pressed on the tuner. All right. There so we go. The left. Hold down on that. Yeah. Boom. So you can let go of that. So now you got those options for stomp, rig, and hybrid. Got so um, go ahead and just tap on the middle one. There you go. There I am. R1. So. <laughs> Old school classic yeah, rock sound. I love that riff. And then R2. Eighties rock god yeah, guitar man. tone. And then R3. The There's my brutal planet. I have my three go. go-to tones all on <laughs> one set list. And when I power it down uh, and power it back up again, those three will come up, right? That's it. That's about as quick and easy a setup <laughs> as I've ever done. You know, and I didn't have to read, you know, any sort of manuals or go down any sort of YouTube rabbit holes. I thank you very much, Brian, for uh, guiding me through this. You are truly the MX-5 Whisperer. <laughs> well so all the links below if you want to find out more uh, about head rush stuff and uh, mx5 stuff and if you want to leave some comments um about other gear that you are interested in from the head rush family i'm sure you can get in touch with uh, brian or you can always leave it in the comments so again in the trenches thank you for coming on our uh, gearhead edition and we'll have more of these, all right? So until next time, people, I'm Ryan Roxy. Enjoy the ride. In the Trenches with Ryan Roxy.